हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एम एस सी जुलॉजी पार्ट वन अकेडेमिक इयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन फ्रेंड्स दिस इयर इन द पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट कोर्स ऑफ टू इयर्स यू आर गोइंग टू अटेम्प्ट फोर सेमिस्टर्स and each of the semester is having the weightage of 20 credits that is uh, five papers and each of the paper is having weightage of four credits or the 60 lectures so among these four semesters that is uh, part 1 and part 2 today we are going to continue with the first semester then the paper number 2 the course name is cell biology and developmental biology the course code is zout 112 zo represents zoology u represents university and t represents theory so zout 112 or zout 112 so 112 again representing the first year first semester and the second paper so myself mr rd gauri and uh, i am going to go take the first section of this paper that is cell biology and uh, the another section that is developmental biology which is uh, going to take mr uh, hemant asne so today we are going to begin with the introduction regarding the syllabus or the contents of the cell biology according to the 2019 pattern this from last year we are going to uh, adopt choice based credit system so you have to earn these credits from each of the paper then each of the paper is having weightage of four credits and uh, each of the credit having weightage of 15 lectures so four credits or 60 lectures weightage to this paper that is cell biology and developmental biology so ultimately the cell biology will have the weightage of two credits or 30 lectures so i hope you will be all right in this uh, covid 19 pandemic situation i don't know how far this online teaching will be continued or when the actual classroom teaching or physical classes will be continued uh, that we don't know but still will uh, uh, begin with our syllabus that is cell biology so in the course cell biology the first topic is a cell theory general organization of cell and characteristics of living systems so already we have studied the cell biology in first year bsc and where we have studied the different aspects or the techniques so as to study the cells that is a, a different type of microscopes or the staining methods or Uh, different uh, parts of the cells up to the process of cell division that is mitosis and meiosis so in the fybsc in the course that is fundamentals of cell biology we have studied the entire study of the cell with respect to its uh, components in the form of plasma membrane then cytoplasm nucleus or nucleolus or whatever the Uh, components present in each of the uh, compartment that is either cytoplasm or the nucleoplasm 
we have already studied all these things uh, together with the process of cell division that is uh, mitosis, meiosis or the cell cycle. But that was a superficial study. So, in this course, the depth of the contents or the syllabus is little more and thus it is expected to be uh, explained the contents or the topics or subtopics of the syllabus uh, to more depth or much details. So, in first topic, uh, the cell theory, then uh, general organization of the cell on the basis of various components of the cell, we are going to study the general organization of the cells or what are the different parts of the structures <coughs> sorry, are present in the cell. Then characteristics of the living systems. So, this is again another uh, point that uh, relates with the characteristics of the living systems. So, might be the living organisms which are uh, derived or composed of different systems that is uh, various biological functions right from nutrition, respiration, then circulation, excretion, uh, neurotransmission. So, whatever the uh, systems, living systems present in the body of living organisms which are uh, no doubt uh, exhibiting their biological functions uh, only due to the presence of different type of cells. So, on the basis of different type of tissues, we are well known to the tissues or the cells which are forming uh, the main component uh, or the organs or the systems of the living organism. So, the characteristics of, characteristics of the living system. So, this particular topic is having weightage of two lectures. So, in this uh, topic, we are going to study cell theories, then uh, general organization of the cell means how the cell is uh, derived or how the cell is uh, produced or uh, uh, being formed with uh, different uh, components. Maybe either it is uh, simplicity or complexity, maybe the simplicity or complexity of the uh, structure of the cell. So, general organization of the cell that is uh, uh, cells which are uh, composed usually of uh, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus or different uh, components of the nucleus uh, that is the nucleoplasm, different type of uh, RNAs or the chromosomes or uh, nuclear membrane with nuclear pore, com pore complex. So, whatever the components present uh, in the structure of the cell that will be uh, studied superficially in the topic that is general organization of the cell and the characteristics of the living systems. The second topic is overview of chemical nature of the cell, overview of chemical nature of the cell and the importance of the carbon in biologically important molecules. So, we are well known to the biochemicals. So, usually the cell, the cell is mainly composed of proteins that, uh, that is quite uh, clear or you might have heard about the composition of the cell or the different components of the cell including uh, the plasma membrane, then cell organelles, uh, nuclear membrane or the nucleus, whatever the components present in the cell which are having a certain chemistry or a certain uh, chemicals either in the form of proteins, fats or uh, carbohydrates, then different type of uh, proteins or enzymes. So, the cell is composed of the different components or different biomolecules and uh, mainly the cells are composed of about the proteins. There are about uh, the 55 to 60 percent of the proteins present in the cell. So, whenever we will uh, uh, calculate the actual components of the uh, proteins in the cell, then we will get its idea about the proteins. So, protein, uh, since the proteins are uh, called as the building blocks of the body or the body of living organism, they are well known to the proteins. So, proteins are the building blocks. So, since these are called as uh, building blocks of the cell, since the proteins are called as building blocks of the cells. And thus, there is a large quantity of fruit, there are a large quantity of proteins are present 
uh, as a main components of the cell. So the chemical nature of the cell, we are going to study the chemistry of the cell with respect to proteins, fats, carbohydrates or whatever the minerals, uh, electrolytes, enzymes, vitamins. So whatever the components in, in the form of uh, biochemicals are present in the cell that we are going to uh, study in the overview of the chemical nature of the cell. So there may be enzymes, proteins, coenzymes, cofactors, hormones, etc. So there are so many biochemicals may present in the cell uh, as a, uh, its uh, functional units or might have their role in the uh, biological function of the cell. Then importance of the carbon in a biologically important molecules. So we know the carbohydrates, proteins, fats or different enzymes or the hormones may be protein or steroid type of hormones which are having carbon. So carbon is a main component present in different chemicals or even in the biochemicals. So which uh, will uh, uh, study uh, little bit regarding its importance or the carbon in biologically important molecules. Then third topic is a plasma membrane. So already in cell biology, uh, in our first year BSc, we have studied the structure of plasma membrane that is uh, the ultra structure of the uh, plasma membrane proposed by uh, Singer and Nicholson, which already we have studied. So here also we are going to study the plasma membrane. So plasma membrane is the main component or the outermost covering of the cells having its great importance for the maintenance of the shape, size uh, or the transportation of various biomolecules of the uh, materials uh, through the plasma membrane. So it is a protective covering maintaining the shape, size of the cell and also serves for the uh, different uh, functions that is transportation that is uh, uh, the processes like diffusion or uh, osmosis or uh, uh, there are certain type of uh, components which are uh, transported or passed through the plasma membrane uh, on the basis of its molecular weight or may have certain groups uh, that is uh, the active sites with the help with the help of which the particular biomolecules can be uh, carried or passed through the plasma membrane. So ultrastructure, here we are going to study the ultrastructure of the plasma membrane that is a components of the plasma membrane. So ultrastructure or the it is a unit membrane or having laminated the membranes which are composed of different components that we are that we have explained in the ultrastructure of plasma membrane in a model that is uh, Singer and Nicholson that it contains a complex uh, form of the proteins, lipids, proteins, lipids or the glycoproteins or the glycolipids or uh, <coughs> extrinsic proteins, intrinsic proteins. So that will form a membrane protein or the various components of the membrane protein. So ultrastructure it's uh, membrane proteins. Membrane proteins are either in the form of uh, the structural proteins or the carrier proteins uh, that is uh, either extrinsic or intrinsic proteins. Then membrane transport channel, membrane transport channel. So these are also of, uh, composed of the proteins, membrane uh, transport channels. So these are the, uh, these might be the perforations. So uh, in this case, the transport of the biomolecules may occur uh, directly through the perforations or the passages or the channels which are again composed of the proteins. So through which the, there may be a transportation of the biomolecules with the consideration of their uh, molecular weight may be small or large. So on the basis of the molecular weight or the size of the biomolecules can pass through these uh, channel proteins. So there may be channels for the transportation of the uh, biomolecules through the membrane that is channels or actual canals then carriers. So there are certain enzymes, there are certain enzymes which are actively getting involved in carrying or the passages of the biomolecules uh, that is direct binding of these carrier proteins or enzymes 
or the receptors uh, of the enzymes uh, to the biomolecules and uh, then will be uh, pass into or go uh, pass out of the plasma membrane. So, channels, pro channel proteins, carrier proteins, then pumps. So, there may be uh, the transportation of the different ions uh, that is uh, transportation. So, there are different mechanisms for the transmission of the or transportation of these biomolecules through the plasma membrane. Then membrane potential, membrane potential and the synaptic transmission. So, membrane potential that is uh, uh, the, just like a sodium pump or the potassium pump. So, that is the activation of the uh, uh, membrane potential that is uh, uh, potassium or uh, sodium pumps that will also help in uh, transmission of the uh, impulses across or the along the neuron or the nerve fiber. Then synaptic transmission means the neurotransmission, membrane potential and the synaptic transmission. These are also uh, involved in the neurotransmission of the impulses from one end of the body to the another end of the body uh, through the neuron or the nerve fibers and even in the synapse that is the gap between the two nerve endings between the, the whatever the space or the fluid present in between the two nerve endings there is also a transmission of the impulses and that kind of uh, neurotransmission can uh, occur through the uh, synapse or the gap between the two nerve endings that is a pre or post synaptic uh, uh, nerve endings uh, through which there is a neurotransmission and for this purpose there are uh, uh, neurotransmitter substances like acetylcholine or the enzymes like uh, acetylcholine esterase or the receptors or the follicles which are present in the nerve endings or in the cells which are uh, also of great importance for the neurotransmission through the uh, synapse or the across the neuron. Then fourth topic that is endomembrane system. <coughs> endomembrane system. So, the term itself uh, indicates its meaning. Endo means uh, inside of the cell. There are also a membranes and uh, this endomembrane system includes different type of cell organelles. So, these are the uh, membrane bound structures, membrane bound structures in the form of cell organelles, important cell organelles that we are well known to the endoplasmic reticulum, rough or smooth, rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which are the important cell organelles situated just uh, outside to the nuclear membrane or which are in close association or accompanied with the nuclear membrane and that surrounds, nuclear membrane surrounds the endoplasmic reticulum and will form a membrane bound structures in the form of lamellae or cisterni possessing either ribosomes or the dotted structures of the ribosomes to form rough endoplasmic reticulum or uh, uh, without ribosomes that is a smooth endoplasmic reticulum which are occurring successively from inside to outside that is a rough endoplasmic reticulum or uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum which are uh, useful for the process of the synthesis of the proteins. So, process of protein synthesis will take place in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Then smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, these are the laminated the structures having the cavities, having the cavities, fluid filled cavity may contain the proteins or store the proteins synthesized by themselves. So, structure of endoplasmic reticulum or the Golgi complex which are also present next to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, these are responsible for uh, process of lipid synthesis, Golgi complexes are responsible for lipid synthesis. Then lysosomes, so these are the membrane bound structures in the form of cell organelle, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, lysosomes, lysosomes these are again membrane bound structures enclosing different type of enzymes or uh, different hydrolytic enzymes. Uh, we know uh, well the lysosomes uh, called as uh, the suicidal bag, suicidal bag of the cells. 
suicidal bag of the cells so whenever the lysosomes burst or breaks open uh, its components into the cytoplasm this will lead to the autolysis that lysis means breakdown and auto means a cell so this is a uh, a sort of self killing mechanism present in the uh, uh, different type of cells eukaryotic cells particularly plant cells or animal cells which are having a lysosomes so these are the membrane bound structures endoplasmic reticulum valgi body lysosomes even chloroplast mitochondria these are also membrane bound structures present in the cytoplasm of the cells <coughs> then next point is protein trafficking protein trafficking protein trafficking means whatever the proteins uh, secreted whatever the proteins secreted by uh, the endoplasmic reticulum or rough endoplasmic reticulum that are then transported uh, outward uh, towards the periphery through the smooth endoplasmic reticulum or then to the um, golgi complexes then to the uh, vesicles there are uh, different type of vesicles we are well known to the pinocytic or phagocytic vesicles so vesicles which are simply pinched off or derived from uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum or uh, golgi complexes that will form the vesicles so vesicles or vacuoles which may be which may have smaller or larger size but having spherical shape and that are simply pinched off from the main components of the or the lamellae or the cisterni of the rough endoplasmic or smooth endoplasmic or uh, reticulum or the golgi complexes and will acquire the proteins or the components or the different bio biological uh, components of the biochemicals whatever in the form of proteins or enzymes synthesized in them so that are carried towards the periphery of the cells that is a trafficking transporting protein trafficking from rough endoplasmic reticulum to smooth endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum to golgi bodies golgi bodies to golgi vesicles or the vacuoles which are then transported towards the plasma membrane of the cell from where these are uh, releasing their contents to the outside through the plasma membrane or the semi permeable plasma membranes of the cells either through active or passive transportation and uh, can be released outside into uh, either <coughs> the intracellular space or the fluid or maybe into the blood stream and from where is then carried to the different sites in the uh, body so as to use them or wherever they are required that are uh, trapped or received uh, in the body so protein trafficking that is secretory and endocytic pathways secretory and endocytic pathways means this is again a a, a type of uh, pathway or the path through which the this different secretory components or the proteins or the vitamins uh, sorry uh, enzymes that are transported uh, via the different type of uh, granules or the secretory granules or vesicles or the vacuoles and these are endo through the endocytic pathway endocytic means within the cytoplasm within the cytoplasm so these are the uh, pathways represented uh, through the different type of vesicles so this is about the uh, topic 4 membrane uh, endomembrane system inclu including endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex lysosomes proteins uh, protein trafficking secretory and endocytic pathways so this is having, having the lecture uh, weightage of four lectures then uh, fifth topic that is mitochondria we are well known to the mitochondria which are uh, the important components of the eukaryotic cells that is plant cells or the animal cells uh, having the mitochondria uh, we are going to study the mitochondria with respect to structure that is a uh, membrane covering or we know the mitochondria which are a double membrane uh, structures or the cell organelles uh, having two membranes that is outer membrane and the inner membrane we, we have studied the structure of mitochondria uh, the inner membrane has been uh, <coughs> 
transform into a, uh, a wavy uh, uh, cristae or foldings. The inner membrane of the mitochondrion that is thrown into number of folds that will form a cristae and which includes which encloses the matrix. So the structure of mitochondrion then genetic system genetic system. So mitochondria since the mitochondria are uh, called as uh, energy rich compound uh, energy rich components of the cell or the cell organelles are having a important role uh, in the cell that is uh, production of energy or energy synthesis and uh, this particular uh, function of the energy synthesis uh, by the mitochondria is only due to uh, having its own DNA having its own DNA that can also be called as a cytoplasmic DNA or the mitochondrial DNA <coughs> which uh, is re, uh, responsible for the synthesis of about uh, uh, 60 different enzymes which are uh, essential or necessary for the energy metabolism. So for the synthesis of energy there needs the several pathways so as to synthesize energy either in the form of ATP uh, through the pathway or a series of reactions and each of the reaction requires the enzymes as a catalyst so as to complete these pathways or the biochemical reactions uh, while energy synthesis. So this requires the genetic system in the form of DNA. It's a DNA that is uh, from a certain uh, amount of DNA present in the mitochondrion which, which is uh, having its uh, role uh, in uh, synthesis of enzymes and uh, which are essential for the energy metabolism or the synthesis of the energy metabolism. So there are <coughs> large number of enzymes about 60 different enzymes uh, essential for the energy metabolism are produced and uh, supplied by the mitochondrion. So we are going to study the structure of the mitochondrion, genetic system, then functions, protein import, protein import. So whatever the biological functions performed in either nucleus or in the cytoplasm or in various cell organelles which are uh, importing or exporting different biochemicals or the biological compounds or biomolecules. So protein import. So no, all the proteins or enzymes secreted by the mitochondria itself and uh, whatever certain components which might not be produced or available in the mitochondria and that could be that could be imported from the cytoplasm or the neighboring or the adjacent cells. So there may be a protein import. Then sixth topic nucleus, ultrastructure of the nucleus that is nuclear envelope. We have also studied the nuclear envelope in first year BSc cell biology, nuclear envelope, nuclear lamina, nuclear pore complex or nucleolus. So these are the nucleus that is ultrastructure of the uh, nuclear envelope that is a nucleus in case of we know the nucleus of the eukaryotic, eukaryotic cells having well developed or well defined nuclear membrane enclosing the nucleoplasm or which separates the nucleoplasm and the cytoplasm of the cells which separate the nucleoplasm and the cytoplasm of the cell. So in between cytoplasm and nucleoplasm is a, a nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane or a nuclear lamina with a nuclear pore complex. So there are perforations we have studied the nuclear pore complex the wheel like structure provided with the filaments or representing the structure similar to a uh, opening or a aperture through which number of biological compounds are transported or imported or exported uh, from the nucleoplasm to the outside into the cytoplasm. So in nucleus we know the nucleus nucleoplasm containing uh, different uh, type of nucleic acids that is DNA, RNA, different type of RNAs that is uh, 
आर आर एन ए टी आर एन ए और यम आर एन एस यम आर एन ए टी आर एन ए आर आर एन ए सो दीज आर दी डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ आर एन एस ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन द न्यूक्लियोप्लाजम विच आर आइधर सिंथेसाइज इन द न्यूक्लियस दैट इज द पार्ट इन द न्यूक्लियस कॉल्ड एज न्यूक्लियोलस विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ आर एन ए और द राइबोसोम्स सो सो राइबोजोमल आर एन ए और न्यूक्लियोलस दैट इज द मेन कॉम्पोनेंट प्रेजेंट इन द न्यूक्लियोप्लाजम विच प्रोवाइड्स डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ आर एन एज देन एम आर एन ए दैट इज सिंपली सिंथेसाइज बाई यूजिंग द टेम्पलेट ऑफ द डी एन ए और द क्रोमोजोम और द क्रोमेटिड क्रोमेटिन मटेरियल विच कंपोज टू फॉर्म द क्रोमोजोम्स सो द्यूक्लियोलस is a separate conspicuous structure present in the nucleoplasm and nucleoplasm consisting of chromatin material in the form of chromosomes together with number of biochemicals uh, which are essential uh, for the uh, functioning of the nucleus so chromatin material in the form of chromosomes that lies in the nucleoplasm together with different type of rnas so dna rna Uh, materials amino acids different type of proteins which might present in the nucleoplasm so nucleolus uh, we are going to study the ultra structure of the nucleus with the uh, ultra structure of nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane that is nuclear lamina uh, which is also a double uh, laminated or double membrane covering of the nuclear membrane present around the nucleus having the various structures that is a wheel like structures uh, that is nuclear pore complexes then inside of the nucleoplasm there is nucleolus or nucleoplasm containing chromatin material in the form of chromosomes then uh, next topic is cell cycle cell cycle <coughs> sorry our yeah, last time in fy bsc in cell biology we have studied the cell cycle also so there are different phases of the cell cycle that is uh, uh, the g1 phase g2 phase s phase or the m phase so these are the different phases of the cell cycle uh, growth one or gap one growth one or a gap one then uh, Uh, m phase that is a mitosis then uh, g2 phase g2 phase that is a growth phase second or gap 2 during which whatever the components missing that are acquired in the cell during the g2 phase then s phase so just prior to the process of mitosis there is a synthesis of different components and uh, will become doubled usually the dna rna whatever uh, the components present in the cytoplasm or the nucleus of the cell are usually doubled during the uh, s phase synthetic phase or the interphase of the uh, process of uh, cell cycle so during interphase there is a synthesis of different materials and the cell will become uh, uh, larger in size or get mature or uh, Uh, can can be capable of its division into two daughter cells that is mitosis so s phase then again a g g1 phase then g2 g, between g, just after the s phase there is a uh, synthetic phase there is a process of uh, g1 then m phase then g2 then again the s phase so these are the four different phases of the cell cycle so phases of the cell cycle then checkpoints mechanism of regulation regulation uh, regulators of cell cycle so how the process of cell cycle that is different steps of the cell cycle or the stages of the cell cycle are continued or what are the different components which are responsible for the regulation of the cell cycle that is the growth or multiplication the growth or multiplication of the cell that is 
newly formed cells will grow and become capable of its division again divided cells will again become mature so the mechanism of the regulation of the cell cycle or regulators of the cell cycle progression mpf maturation promoting factor or mitosis promoting factor that is the cyclins and uh, cyclin dependent kinases these are the enzymes which are essential for the uh, process of cell cycle <coughs> then next topic is uh, cytoskeleton cytoskeleton uh, types chemistry organization associated proteins and their role associated proteins and their role so uh, in cytoskeleton similar to the, the exoskeleton that is the outermost covering of the body endoskeleton that is the a, a bony endoskeleton representing vertebral column or the mechanical support to the body that is endoskeleton so exoskeleton or endoskeleton and this is a cytoskeleton so whatever the structure of the cell shape and size of the cell is maintained with the help of cytoskeleton present in them which is in the form of uh, fibrils different type of micro filaments protein uh, filaments that is actin myosin or tubulin so there are different type of uh, protein fibers may present in the cytoplasm of the cell that will uh, provide some sort of mechanical support to the cytoplasm or which will help in maintaining the shape and size of the cell that is somewhat uh, support uh, so as to uh, massive uh, features of the cells so due to presence of these protein filaments active actin myosin or uh, uh, tubulin so these are the uh, dif different type of uh, uh, filaments or the protein filaments which are present in the cytoplasm of the cell that will represent the cytoskeleton so the, uh, here in this topic we are going to study its types chemistry so what is the chemistry of these uh, cytoskeleton or the components of the cytoskeleton or organization or associated proteins and their role so what is the role of these cytoskeletal components that we are going to study in this topic then ninth topic that is cancer types types of cancer development of the cancer causes of the cancer characteristics of the cancer cells tumor viruses oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes so uh, in this topic we are going to study the cancer broadly we are well known to the cancer or the tumor that is uh, unlimited uh, growth of the cell so whenever whenever the nucleus uh, escape whenever the nucleus escape the control on the process of cell division at that time the process of cell division uh, remain continue and will form a tumor that is the excessive growth resulting into the tumors so tumors which might be malignant or the benign right so there are different type of cancers uh, maybe the uh, the tissues on the basis of the type of tissue which is suffering from uh, the type of cancer then cancers can also be categorized so there are different organs or uh, different type of tissues present in the body and which can be suffering from the cancers that is the excessive growth unlimited growth of the cells in the respective tissue or organ or in the particular system and uh, interfering with the biological function of that organ or a system or uh, so there are different types then development so what are the causes of the cancer how the cells uh, be transformed uh, or escaping their control on cell division or the mitosis due to the factors which are responsible for the uh, formation of cancers so development then causes characteristics of the cancer cell characteristics of the cancer cell then tumor viruses tumor viruses so there are certain viruses also which triggers or which stimulates 
द प्रोसेस ऑफ कैंसर डेवलपमेंट और कैंसर फॉर्मेशन ट्यूमर वायरसेस देन ऑंकोजीन्स ऑंकोजीन्स सो देर आर सर्टेन जीन्स प्रेजेंट इन द क्रोमोजोम्स व्हिच आर मेनली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कैंसर और ट्यूमर सप्रेसर जीन्स सो देर आर सर्टेन जीन्स सिमिलर टू द ऑंकोजीन्स व्हिच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द सप्रेशन ऑफ द कैंसर और व्हिच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द नॉर्मल फंक्शनिंग नॉर्मल फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द सेल डिविजन सो यूजुअली सेल डिवाइड्स यूजुअली द सेल डिवाइड्स एट अ स्पेसिफिक टाइम्स और ड्यूरिंग ग्रोथ और रिपेयर ड्यूरिंग ग्रोथ और रिपेयर ओनली सो देर इज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल और द रेगुलेशन और द सप्रेशन ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेल डिविजन सो दिस इज द जेनेटिक फंक्शन दिस इज द जेनेटिक फंक्शन so there are certain genes which are maintaining or which are responsible for the control of process of mitosis during uh, uh, growth or development so there are tumor suppression gene also so in this topic we are going to study the cancer types development causes of cancer characteristics of characteristics of the characteristic of the cancer cells tumor viruses oncogenes and a tumor suppressor genes and the last topic that is the cell signaling cell signaling so signaling molecules and their receptors cell surface receptors significance of cell signaling so in this topic we are going to study the different mechanisms or the phenomena such as uh, transportation of the uh, biomolecules through the plasma membrane or the nuclear membrane then also the transmission of impulses uh, that is uh, uh, that is uh, across the neuron or the synapses so these are the receptors so cell signaling so this is a sort of cell communication this is a, a kind of cell communication <coughs> so there are certain molecules representing the signals or the messages so sig uh, signaling molecules and their receptors so the signaling molecules might have released from uh, a point of a particular uh, particular region of the cell and that will be uh, the particular si signal then carried through a liquid medium uh, through a uh, uh, tissue fluid towards the uh, the other end or to certain Uh, region or the the structure or the receptor which is uh, much apart from the uh, signaling molecules so signaling molecules and their receptors so there is a, a transportation of the signals from one end of the cell to the other end of the cell or even from one end of the body to other end of the body so there are receptors then cell surface receptors so while transportation of the biomolecules means active transportation where there needs uh, uh, the agency or the agents like uh, certain carrier proteins or enzymes which are uh, responsible for uh, the transportation of the biological molecules so there are certain cell surface receptors which are uh, resp responsible for the recognition which are responsible for the recognition of the certain bio biomolecules on the surface of the cells so until and unless until and unless there is a cell recognition until and unless there is a cell recognition of the certain biomolecules will not be allowed to enter or will not be permitted to enter into the cytoplasm of the cells so there are cell surface receptors which will recognize or identify the biomolecule biomolecules whether it is uh, right or wrong that uh, type of uh, uh, recognition is made uh, on the surface of the cells then significance of cell signaling so what are the significance of the cell signaling or how it is uh, important or what is the role of the uh, uh, cell signaling molecules in the uh, process of cell communication so this is about the topic cell signaling 
so uh, this is about the syllabus or the contents of the cell biology then uh, the next slide is uh, the syllabus of the developmental biology which uh, already i think uh, hemant asne sir has uh, explained so today uh, with this we'll uh, stop here so this is about the contents of the syllabus uh, of the cell biology okay so with this today we'll uh, stop here next time we'll continue with our uh, uh, topic first that is the cell history general organization of cell or the characteristics of the living systems thank you